Okay. Let's see. Can everyone hear me okay? Oh. Awesome. All right. Well, welcome. We'll go ahead and uh, get started. Um, I know we have a couple others that are still logging in, but uh, so far for our mentors, we have uh, Grandma D, we have uh, Miss Marion and Miss Velma. And then for our learners, we have myself, um, Kathy and Cricket and Aunt Carolyn, I think, maybe. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So um, Miss... Can hear you. Are you frozen? Yeah, she might be letting someone on. It may have. Oh, there she is. Okay. Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, oh, Courtney is joining us. Awesome. February. Okay, there's Alice Ann. All right, so let's see if we could um we have our opening prayer. Um Miss Velma, are you able to say our opening prayer for us, Bay Dot Sai? Huh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Excuse me, I got I got this crazy cough. Dog, 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 e dog, e dog, dog, e 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 dog, they who take good better do the dog, but can my own better get over? Don't is a better can't. They only get all things on. Guy don't get get all it. Take my hand, my dog. They only thought. Hold to get all your better do the big good stuff. So they go better do the dog. Um, we thank you for thy grace, thy mercy, thy unconditional love and compassion for thy healing power, Lord, and for um, all that you do for us. Be with us this evening um, that you might guide us and um, be with us and help us, Lord, that, that we'll be able to... Um, continue working on keeping our language lord we're so grateful grateful that we have this opportunity lord to to cling to our language and pray that you would help us so that we would be successful lord and that our our, our, our language would go on with our our people dog a that the younger generation might be motivated interested in learning the language and that there would be teachers there to, willing to teach them and to help them, Heavenly Father, we're so grateful. Bless each person here on the Zoom, Lord. Each each person, their families, they go big dog. Um, you know what our needs are, Heavenly Father. Dog, elim dog, they hundi yan yan high get our dog. Ebo they hundi yan dog dog. Ebo aho da aho de dog of the dog cycle dog. He called they on go town dog of dog. They own day on the corn, built by the gum dog. Dot side and bit a halgum dog, and get town dog. Don't know a hog, they cock a dog. Yaho. Obaha. Amen. Aho. I hope you feel better. 
Oh. Yeah, I got I got the I have the flu. I'm just kind of getting over oh. it now, but it was horrible. It was terrible. But I'm oh, hanging hang in there better stay bundled up don't go outside in the cold weather <laughs> yeah I, I got my shot too but i don't know still i still got it yeah, yeah um, they always say it's like a 50 50 chance so <laughs> yeah. well it's better to get the shot than not get the shot so oh it could have been way even worse yeah yeah definitely it's that time of year that's for sure and everyone stay I'm safe. Hey. Hey. Hande, Hande, and Bon. Hey. Thanks, Cricket, for calling me. I would have been up. Um, I don't know, Melody, if you want to send an a email reminder out. Uh, I just went on the January 3rd one. But. um. Oh, oh I yeah. I, people apparently, are... I have to send an email out. I thought it, you know, it all blends yeah. together. I'll send it I out. Just while went, I just went on the January third. I, I looked for January third. Oh, sent that out. Um, Cricket, do you want to talk about? Um, I think you were talking about the the Monday session, and then I'll, okay. Do you want to do any NBR update? Yeah. Um, okay. I'm I'm letting some more people know. Okay, that that we are having it. Um. <laughs> Okay, so I just put in the chat. Let me redo it because people that just got on probably didn't get to see. Um, so uh, due to the weather conditions, um, we will not have in-person session this January on Monday, February, I mean, January 15th, but we will have the Zoom from eight to nine. So we can still do that hour, the hour Zoom session on January 15th from eight to nine. So um, we'll just cancel the in-person part and, um, you know, just do some of the stuff that we, that we normally do and then do the, do a song. Um, so we could do some other kinship stuff, like calling out to each other, that kind of stuff. And then doing a conversation and then doing a song. So um, we'll do that just on Zoom from eight to nine this coming Monday. Then um, we were looking at January. I mean, now we're looking at February 12th. So that's the second Monday of February um, for our our next session. Um, for the February session. So if everybody wants to put that on their calendars, they can. So that will be the next in-person one. Will be February 12th. Um, then also anybody that I think everybody got all their hours in through November, but we need to get our December hours in now. So anybody that is on the Native Voices Rising grant needs to turn in their December hours. So um, turn them in so I can get them and get and get you paid. Uh, so. Just whatever hours you have, as long as it makes five hours, whether it's in person or Zoom or or uh, working on some stuff, just uh, your five hours for NVR. Um, if you could turn those December hours into me. Um, one of the things they did ask is they want to know not just that you put in two hours, but what what were with the date, but was it like six to eight? Was it you know, two to three or, you know, whatever time it was. So the actual time, if you don't mind doing that as well. Um, I think that's pretty much our, the update on NVR. So everything should be good all the way through November. Let's just get December's hours in so they can get those paid out. Um, then 
just start thinking about June and a youth um, a youth outreach. So um, I hope when, and at the complex. So I think that's all the update. Are there any questions for the NVR? If you did not get your Alhangya, um, you should be getting it soon. If you do not get it before the end of January for November, please let please let me know so I can let the um, the program know or the department know. You should have, everybody should have already gotten their November hours though. Or their November check. I guess that's it. If there's no questions, Obaha. Oh yeah, I need to change my name. Oh, you guys, let's change our names to oh. make our Kiowa names so we can talk to each other. Or Kiowa names. All right. So I think we have Judy and Tim. Allison, Keon, is it Keon Day? Day? Keon Day. Is that correct, Allison? <clears throat> it's key. Yeah, you said it. I think you said it correctly. Keon Day with a hard day. Keon Day. Yeah. Ha. Oh. oh, yeah, I got to change mine. And it was real easy for me to change mine. I just go on to my little picture to the three little dots in that little blue square and go to rename. And for those that are just joining us, um, our in-person session we will not have on Monday, but we still will have, as long as we have electricity, we still will have our Zoom portion January 15th, this coming Monday from 8 to 9. And then the next in-person one will be scheduled for February 12th for District 7 on Monday at 7 p.m. So just because of weather, I don't want anybody to get out in, in this bad weather.
Yep, definitely better. To be safe, that's for sure. But I don't know what we have on our agenda for today. Did we want to go over like the classes that everybody's doing? If you had your classes again at school. Sorry, my internet. That connection keeps messing. Um, can... Maybe Tim have has River Riverside started yet? Yeah, we started last week. But we're just we're just slowly getting into the in progress. I mean, we have like testing this week, so we really haven't. I mean, I'm just making them kind of go over stuff we had last semester. You know, their introduction and that that kind of stuff. But we're kind of we're kind of our what we're looking forward to is our the language fair. So we're kind of gearing up to that. And so we'll start practicing on that and getting the kids ready for that. So that's going to be kind of our, maybe we'll work on that twice a week or something. That's awesome. So what grades are you taking? Well, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to do my class, my native language class, um, ninth through 12th, but if nobody takes the little guys, then I'm going to take them. Um, but I think what, a couple of the teachers are supposed to take the little guys because we have a lot, a lot of talent right now out there at Riverside as far as like singers, and we have a lot. So I'm going to check up on that and make sure somebody's going to do it. If not, I'll get it organized. So, huh? Okay. Awesome. I'm glad that you're that you started that class, Tim. That's awesome. Yeah, it's challenging at times, but it's just I mean, luckily Lance and them are right there. So if I have any issues or need words, I can just call Lance and just drive over there. So that's so cool. I'm so excited. Are you taking your group to the language fair, Melody? Oh, yep. We um, actually, that's what we're doing this week is uh, looking like watching the videos that are posted on their uh, YouTube and like looking at the different categories. And then everyone's like kind of breaking up into groups or deciding what they want to do. And um, yeah, we actually got approval to count it as a field trip for our class. So our whole class is going to be up there on April 2nd. And We'll see. Uh, we'll see what they do. But um, yeah, it's really exciting. Awesome. Courtney or Thabine, did uh, did as are you gonna take a group from Edmond? Uh, we are. I don't know. If there's enough uh, interest, some of them, um, maybe Cambry, if she wants to see, check in with her. Um, but we were just planning that yesterday or talking about it, trying to kind of map out. So, and then Alice Ann and I are planning to um, help the kids with doing something. That's good. So we'll have a lot of good Kiowa representation there. I wonder if um, if uh, Carnegie and Anadarko are going to do it. I think they are. I think they so. Had a, they had a meeting yesterday, and they were they were there. So, 
will be in full force to commas. That's awesome. We're all, they're all going to have the same introduction. <laughs> then people will <laughs> learn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody will know how to introduce themselves in Kiowa. Yeah. That's good. Very cool. I love that. That's like, that's five schools. That's pretty cool. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. We'll be representing this, uh, our Western part of Oklahoma, <laughs> instead of always the Eastern part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. I love it. Uh, let's see, were those all the uh, current uh, teachers? Oh, I are? think so. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay, so my internet is being weird. I had to switch to my hotspot on my phone. So if I lose y'all, sorry, I'll try to reconnect. But um, I don't know if I'll be able to like share my screen and all that. Because uh, every time I try to go on video, I lose connection. Um. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, um, so Cricket or Courtney, um, I might have to ask you to share your screen if we need that at some point. Um, but uh, so let me just uh, recap kind of what we discussed last week. So last week we um, we heard um, some updates about the next um, credentialing session and um the um what was it in-person credentialing session and so that's kind of what we're gearing for is preparing for that and we wanted to spend so what we did was we kind of pulled everyone and I think we have mostly everyone here that was um here with us last week and we kind of took kind of a a poll of everyone to see kind of what topics and what things that we really need some support on in order to get our credentialing pieces submitted and so we all have a, a big consensus. It was unanimous uh, to work on pronouns for level two. So level two pronouns, uh, that's um, the first uh, priority, I guess. And then the next thing is um, all of us want to continue to practice our conversational skills and just kind of continue to um, get those up to speed. So that was kind of what we were thinking of doing uh, for the next few sessions is um, kind of focusing on uh, looking at uh, the pronouns and doing some conversational practice. And then another area of support or interest is we discussed, uh, so one of the credentialing pieces, one of the parts is uh, we have to do a read aloud for of the Kiowa stories of different, you. you know, we have to pick a Kiowa story to, to read aloud yeah. and submit the recording for the credentialing. And so we did ask um, our mentors here, uh, our language credentialing board, um, yeah, mentors, if, um, they would be willing to provide some feedback. And so we discussed having uh, maybe breakout rooms in um, some of our Wednesday sessions. So that way, if we needed to have um, individual one on one feedback, we could do that. So that's another opportunity I think that we can do. So wait, those wait. are the uh, <laughs> yeah. areas of interest. Yeah. Hey, Akima, Hande Onde in Bon. Ah, George and I both are here. Uh ho. We're happy to be here, but I'm gonna have to keep us on mute because we got the babies playing um in here. So you'll be able to hear them. <laughs> Sorry, we're late, but but oh, uh, anyway, George is here next to us, next to me. Yay. Hey, uh, Akima, before you go on mute, uh, Cricket was having all the ones that are doing the Native Voices ri Rising, like all the schools, like give some updates mm -hmm. of all the teachers. And so we just oh, wanted to see if, uh, if Anna Darko had any updates that they wanted to share. Uh, updates just for as far as teaching has been concerned? Yeah, just anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay. So today was a wonderful day. We actually uh, had Grandma Dorothy come and do storytelling um, with our students. And that was amazing. 
um, we've been <clears throat> following the themes of our um, <clears throat> our uh, language program uh, that we have the curriculum themes that I believe it's 10 month themes. Um, so for December, we're kind of still in December and January, so it's not just January. So right now we're covering storytelling and uh, of course we've gone into same day um, introductions. So some of them may not be aware of stories, but they know who he is. Um, and we've gotten into some creation stories. Right now we're covering Devil's Tower and Grandma Dorothy came and shared her uh, family's version of Devil's Tower. So that was wonderful. She came today and yesterday. And then um, with that, we're learning vocabulary and phrases that go with that. Also covering the uh, pilgrimage um, information as much as appropriate, as is appropriate. Um, and I believe it was the handout that uh, you, Melody, and um, had put on the, the drive uh, talking about the um, the first rolling thunder and um, that type of thing. So we've covered that and we have our vocabulary test on Tuesday. And right now we're in preparation for the language fair. So we're starting to get kind of organized in that aspect. Hopefully we can get some good, good, uh, a good presentations going, different variety of presentations. So other than that, that's kind of where we're at right now. We also, I also have hand game um, in uh, on our agenda coming up soon, we're going to be having hand game and we're going to be doing uh, phrases and communication um, in Kiowa uh, when we're playing hand game so that they're, you know, they're not just playing hand game. They're actually, you know, trying to use as much phrases as possible in our language. So that's where we're at. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. I'm so excited to hear you're doing the language fair. Um, we, yeah. uh, that's what we were kind of curious. Um, I think yeah. everyone on here is, is planning to bring groups. So Kyle is going to be well represented. Finally. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Yay. And I want to come to your class at Kima. Oh my like gosh. You know what? Cricket? I was actually phrases. You. No, I mean, I just want to come be a student. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah well, i want to do <laughs> stories and phrases and that was that, that was <laughs> like fun. they um you know today they were pretty fascinated because they've been what what i'm kind of working on with them is is diversity so diversity and variety so what one family may have as far as the story is concerned in the kiowa Kiowa tradition, a different Kiowa family may have a totally different version of it. And so trying to help them understand that, you know, it's all, if they get, I uh, get, yeah, it's all good. And um, Grandma Dorothy, the version she shared, oh, it was just wonderful. The kids were just like in awe <laughs> of her story. And she incorporated phrases within that, probably five or six and um, it was pretty fascinating. And just to have an elder in their presence was something that I wanted them to experience because it seems like nowadays it's it's less and less, you know, it just seems like there's just, I don't know, seems like the elders that we do have, they're, they're, they're kind of younger now, seems like to me, um, some of them, but most of them. And um, so the kids, kids, I wanted them to kind of just be with grandma Dorothy and, and talk with her and my goal is to bring in, you know, more of our, our elders and our mentors to our, our to my class. And um, I was actually going to contact you, Cricket, to come do some storytelling too. Ain't they, Ma? Oh. <laughs> so anyway, but we've we've got a lot to do in January. We're going to do a lot of stories. So Sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. And we need to see what see if Ramon's going to get on. <laughs> so we'll have everybody That's covered. <laughs> oh, very cool. Very cool updates. Um, let's see. Um, any other updates that anyone wants to share? Okay. So um, I think, let me put it in the chat. I, I put like a little uh, note 
Um, so last week, what we did was we kind of took a poll of every all the learners that were here, uh, which is most of us here. Um, and we kind of took a poll to kind of see priority topics and areas, things that we want to focus on for the spring. And especially since uh, there's going to be a, another um, in-person uh, credentialing opportunity. And so, you know, we want to, a lot of us, you know, some of us are working to level one, a lot of us are working towards level two. And so we want to try to get all those pieces, you know, completed and get what we need. So the top one, the top topic that people are interested in practicing are pronouns. And so that's what uh, we, we did a lot of uh, kind of research uh, into the resources that are available last week. And I think we found ourselves some good resources to start with. I think we we finally decided that study stack is a good um, resource. And then we um, looked at the different PowerPoints and, you know, deciphered that. And uh, we uh, we had started, we ran out of time, but we started having our mentors um, share the uh, pronunciation of the Kiowa phrases that are in our PowerPoints, the pronoun or the, what do they call them? I think they're labeled uh, the nouns PowerPoints. And so that's what we did last week. Um, so I think uh, what we, that's the first thing is pronouns. The second priority topic is conversational practice. Um, we all want to kind of continue doing our conversational practice, uh, doing our, you know, enhancing our skills and you know, maybe even doing um, more of our immersion sessions, you know, where we only talk in Kiowa to each other. I know our mentors, mentors keep asking when we're going to do that next. So <laughs> um, we'll work towards that this, you know, I don't know if it'll be this month, but maybe next month we could do an immersion session. Um, and then the, the uh, third thing that was identified was getting some uh, feedback from our mentors on whether or not we're on the right track with our read alouds. So, you know, that creden credentialing component that we have to read aloud um, one of the Kiowa stories, or I think some of them, if you pick Miss Gonzalez, you have to do two of them. And so we wanted, we had asked about, um, is there a way to get feedback just to make sure we're on the right track so that when we get ready to submit it to the credentialing board, um, you know, we kind of know what to expect. <laughs> Um, and we can kind of be more prepared um, in case, you know, we need to resubmit later. So that was something that we talked about. And um, what we decided was we could have a breakout room for people that want to get one-on-one -on -one feedback with their with a mentor. And um, I believe uh, uh, Ogukoma and um, I think you were on there last week and then uh he like they they said they could go in to a breakout room as needed um and provide some feedback and we could just like play the recording that we made or read aloud and just get some feedback on our pronunciation so that's what we discussed was there any other topics or anything that i might have missed from last week do you have the what was the date again? I don't I'm make sure I put it in my calendar. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, January no, wait. Ogu Koma. Um, it's the twentieth of January. Twentieth. Okay. Something 20th. happened to the weather, or something. Then we're moving it back to the twenty seventh, I think. Okay. Do we have the time on there? I think it's at ten. Ten a. Start to, start at ten. Okay. Hunter, Hunter, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Norman? Yes. Norman? Mm -hmm. oh. A. Um, I will not be able to do it. <laughs> I thought I put it in the, the trap. I, I, <laughs> I already did my, my story a long time ago, but it's that pronoun. And I don't know. So, yeah. Yep. That's that's we all said the same thing. <laughs> we said pronouns. Um, are there any other topics that anyone who wasn't able to join last week, like anything you'd like to put forward, add to our list, or with you know. the um sentence, the sentence order, you know that 
I guess they used to call it diagramming sentences <laughs> in English, but I yeah. guess in Kiowa, you know, having the, putting them in order that the, composing the sentence in order of the, whatever parts of, is that Grammar. considered like part of pronouns? Oh, yeah, yeah I think, okay. uh, so Dane had some really interesting updates. Uh, we haven't heard from him in a minute, but I think in one of our December sessions, um, he talked a little bit about some some ideas that the bo credentialing board's been talking about, um, like thinking about the structure and the way that we set up Kiowa sentences. Um, but a good way to start is when we look at those pronoun sentences, the way that they're structured with the different types of pronouns. Um, that that's one way to look at it is like we could dissect the sentences, you know, and and make sure we're labeling the different parts. Um, but I'm wondering if uh, anyone else has, because I'm not remembering all that that full conversation we had when Dane gave those updates. Does anyone, maybe our credentialing board members or anyone else who's here, anything else you want to add on Akima's question? Or is there anyone that also agrees that the structure of sentences should be something we focus on too? Oh, I agree. We talked about it way back. And, you know, Dane was saying, you know, it's not like English, the way you're going to write your sentence out, but we never really got into it. Oh, that's a good point. Um, so maybe uh, I wonder if... Um, if if Dane's available, you know, one of the next couple of weeks, if he could come on and maybe talk with us about like some of the thoughts that he had about, you know, the structure of sentences and if he has any good ideas or resources that we could look at and ways that we could practice and incorporate that into our learning and practice here. So maybe um, I'll try to reach out to him and see if he's able to join maybe next time or the week after. Um, I think that's important too. I feel like by studying like our pronoun stuff that does show us, you know, because the verb always goes on the right side of the sentence and then right next to the verb is the pronoun. And then in front of that is the, um, uh, is the noun on the left side of the sentence is the noun. And then in front of that would be like a question marker if you had a question. You know, um, I don't know. I think looking up in the glossary really helps too. When you look words up in the glossary and it'll tell you, and it has, uh, that that helps with learning. Um, like when you're looking at a verb and you'll see that, that if it's, you know, that for that grammar component, if you look at a verb and you see it um, be, uh, like future tense or um, what's negative tense with that. Usually there's a ma at the end of it, of that verb. And that's an actual tense in Kiowa. I don't know, storytelling tense. That's interesting to me. But you can see all that in the glossary. So that's one way to kind of look and look up some grammar stuff is in the glossary. Oh, yeah, the glossary is definitely a good a good place. I, I think actually one of the questions that Dane had for all of us learners was to see if there was anyone in our group that would be interested in working more specifically on sentence structure. And he has a, he wants to kind of start like a what I forget what he called it, but kind of like a little a little like learning community of like a small group of people who really want to focus on like really dig into the grammar. And he said he gets really technical with like a bu bunch of linguistic, you know, terminology and stuff. So, um, and a lot of research, but um, he's really interested in exploring a way to to teach Kiowa grammar in, in a way that's, you know, hopefully more effective than <laughs> what we've been doing. I know we, we haven't really like touched on that in, in any of our work yet, you know, unless you've like incorporated as part of your own curriculum, but um, we haven't really like directly done like a grammar class, you know, as part of all of our sessions over the past couple of years. So 
he's really interested in, in seeing if anyone is interested in just exploring that and being willing to, he's willing to like kind of basically mentor those of us who might be interested in digging into the grammar. And then that way we would then become people that could be res additional resources for people to go to if they want help on grammar and sentence structure and stuff like that. Um, so if you're interested, I think uh, you should definitely reach out to Dane and let him know that you're interested in grammar. Um, if, if that's a topic that you want to like really focus on, um, I think he's got some ideas. Uh, but I do think that we can also, as we go through, especially doing this pronoun, the nouns, pronouns, uh, practicing for level two, um, I think we're also going to see some of that too. So we could um, kind of think about that too, looking at the grammar part. Uh -huh. Just hey, you know, you know what, Cricket? Mm -hmm. or, hey, Ma, we, uh, oh. it, it was really funny because last week we were like, where's level two? Where's level two? We're like looking all over the place. And all we had to do is scroll down farther. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we finally found it. But um, it was this, one is, this one's level two. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, okay. so, so that has both uh, level one and level two in it. And we started with the, because we are kind of familiar with the, the you know, the level one. But mm -hmm. we had started, I think we were on the plums is where we started. And on study stack, that's where... Uh, it starts off as with the plums. Okay. But um, but yeah, this is a awesome resource. This is what we were doing. We had our mentors um say those sentences that are right there. And, and then we so we could hear them in Kiowa. And then we um started on the flashcards in study stack to try to figure out if we know that if we can pronounce the Kiowa when we see the English. Okay. And Level level one, he says it in Kiowa, and level two, he says it in English, and then we translate it. Mm -hmm. That works. I believe so. Uh, so good, come on. Yes, that's right. From okay. English to Kiowa. Okay. I know you, Kiowa. <laughs> <sighs> okay. All right, I just wanted to share that for maybe. Oh, and in the chat, let me see if I can upload it again. I don't know if my internet will let me, but while you're doing that, um, I'll put the power, um, not the PowerPoint. I put, I made a PDF file um, because it's easier to download and print. And some of us wanted to print it off, uh, that nouns PowerPoint. And so mm -hmm. I put it in the chat. I'm going to see if I can enter it again so that everyone here can access it. Okay. All right. I just wanted to show that. If uh, I'll go ahead and stop sharing. Well, actually, since you have your screen up, okay. <laughs> uh, do you do you want to? I put the link that we were um work we started. We I think we only did like two of them last week. We okay. weren't very good. We we really need practice with this. So <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, we're, we're, you know, but I put that link. Uh, so I don't know if everyone, I mean, is everyone okay to start there or do we want to start with something else? Oh my gosh. See this, that's what, yep. That, that's how we were. We're like, wait, hold on. <laughs> oh no, uh, I need to go back to the beginning. <laughs> I, I really, cause I, Oh, oh, there was one of the things I was saying, um, uh, what I sometimes hinders me from wanting to speak, you know, when you, we see each other, like at Pow this past weekend or somewhere, um, what hinders me sometimes is that pronoun, because I know I won't get my actual real point across. And so, um, so I was thinking, um, Maybe we could say, uh, if I want to ask, like, like, uh, tho gu abanma, or tho, or say, uh, tho gu yu banma, 
and just use the word <laughs> you instead of the Kiowa pronoun until I get the real pronoun. Is that way exact? That way, at least I'll be saying something in Kiowa, but then use the um, English you or me or you know something. I'm going. So anyway, that's uh, uh, just so that I can maybe I might start trying to do that because. And then maybe then then the pronouns will start kicking in, you know, I don't know, just something because it hinders me from wanting to say phrases. I just thought um, that was funny if we say it like that, but it would get my point across and I'd still be talking Kiowa just using some English in it. Oh, um, so, uh, if you, um, if you click on it, then, so like, if we don't know, if none of us knows, like, I think there's a Allah, Allah, um, and there's maybe a name, name. Allah, God, name, bone. I don't know, honey on high, God, I'm just guessing. Anybody oh, else? Let's see. Guess? The same thing or something else? <gasps> Woo, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, we're so next? unsure. We're we're gonna like be speaking like very slowly at the <laughs> But the ye ones, they are the ye ones are a little bit, you know, because you it's with the N, nay or nay or nane. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God, main bone. Main? Main bone. Oh my God, main bone. Anybody else? Okay. Oh my God, main bone. I agree. Main bone. Okay, so what was the other one? You. What was the other one? I see them, name, and this one is you see them, right? Mm -hmm. You see them too. Main, okay. Oh, awesome. Okay. Now, are we doing this by looking at our cards? Are we doing this not looking at our, at our cheat sheets? Okay, so... I'm not looking at a cheat sheet, but uh, whoever wants to shout it out. Alaga. <laughs> so we had name. Now we have main. Now this one is he, she. Nay? I don't know. Who has a cheat <laughs> sheet that can look? Alaga. <laughs> Who's got their sticky notes up on? <laughs> Nay, honey, how I go? All I got, nay, bone. What is it? The same thing. Aim. Aim. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Ah. Uh, oh, aim. There you go. I would not have thought of that one. Okay. Wait, can you go back to the English? Aim, bone. He, she, okay. He, she, sees. Mm -hmm. I love that. You know, Courtney had it, like, you had a thing where you helped last time where, um, like, there was a repetition thing. Do you still have that? Are you there? Are you still there, Courtney? I'm here. Okay. Um, I'd have to go back to my notes and because it's been a while that I've studied pronouns too, but they switch on, um, not switch, but I have to go back through and try to check on my notes. I think I can find it. Give me a minute. But she had a really neat thing that was very helpful for me um, where it said, 
it like had, you know, the rep things that repeated and it had a pattern and it was very helpful. Okay. So if uh, she finds that, maybe she share it and maybe it'll help us study again. Aim bone. Hello, God. Aim bone. Okay. Oh, possessive. Carolyn was good at these. Isn't this day like Alaga? Uh, no, my name. Hey, the two one. Possessive. Oh my gosh! What? What did you say, Judy? Was it Judy or was it? I said name doll. Is that where Nain? that pattern comes in? Name doll. Oh, oh, no. They okay, are. Alaga. Nay. Okay. Allah God. Allah God. Nay. 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 They are. So hard. Okay. There has to be a pattern. I mean, there has to be a pattern. All languages have a pattern. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is. And Courtney found it. <laughs> you have to you have to lay it out and look at everything and you'll you can see it. You can kind of and see you it. Can, you found a pattern in it? Some of it, not uh, of based it. on the chart. <laughs> uh, okay. Find my notes on the chart. Let <laughs> me to go to the chart. Yeah, go to the charts. Okay, let me go. The PowerPoint. Back. I thought I had it up already. Okay. Um. What's what is this? Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. It's not letting me go to my, let's see. Wasn't it something about inanimate objects, changes, I mean, like dogs and flowers, not the same. We've learned that in the first. Aww. Yeah, and it has to do with whether it's a long form noun or not, which right. I think this is the long form noun. Yeah, these were basically what we learned in the first level. This was the, yeah. Is it on here? Because in the PowerPoint, in that level, if you go to the level two slides in the PowerPoint, it shows... Okay like the, the type of noun. So this is a long form noun. And then it shows like the, Oh, right you there. Can look at like which pronouns apply to just this type of noun. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we still see the study step. You weren't sure. Oh, oh, it didn't switch over. Sorry. Morning. I was looking at it. Okay. 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 Um, I guess I got to stop sharing and then reshare. Okay. So right here. Is that what you guys are talking about? Oh, okay. Like that we have to know the pattern of the noun and how, whether or not we're talking about like the plural, the plur the number of the things that we're talking about, mm -hmm. and then how that impacts the pronoun and the verb. Yeah. But there's some pattern with that uh, starts to appear. Um, maybe the, let's see, it's on the slides. Huh? Well, it's the oh, middle it's day and bay and a, uh, is that no go uh they're in the middle of the prone of of that sentence so like Allah let's say Allah go no da so that's from mine it is right uh, mm -hmm. you know uh, it where do we see? Is it on this thing right here that we can start in, seeing the 
pattern. Well, I have the sentence types up top on that slide that you were looking at. Uh, if you see up that first uh, chart, I mean, first row, it mm -hmm. says three part sent. No, go the back, back to the next one. That's just the type of nouns. But for each type of noun, you can see the different sentence types. So there's three part sentence, possessive yeah. or mental sentence, two part, mm -hmm. and then basic. And mm -hmm. those correspond to our pronoun charts. So what Kathy was saying is we want it for the possessive one, we're going to be looking at the middle, the na, oh. na, right? Is that what you were saying, Kathy? Oh, right there. The na. Ugh. And this. Oh, and, uh, the a uh, let's see, yeah, like day, bay, and eh. uh, so all I go day bone, all I go day uh bay bone, right? That's uh, the two part. So the bay, right? I'm taking the middle of that. Because it repeats itself on inanimate objects like flower, plum, but it's different on a dog. Because dog, you're saying something like "segun ya bone," is it or "get"? Yeah. So no, it just seems all over the place to me, and I'm having I have a hard time. I mean, this is all I'm gathering from the four out of the five objects that we're you know doing right now. So in our first level, we had dog, flower, and what was the other one? Tree, uh, uh, do and it was the first one. Shoe. Anyway, so dog and. But dog and flower were my hardest ones because I didn't know why dog I saw it was different than flower I saw it. Yeah, shoe. Shoe. Yeah, here it is. Oh, shoe. That's it. Mm -hmm. So take the first one. So I saw it. So dog I saw it and flower I saw it is totally different. It's the middle part where it says, yeah, bone, segun, yeah, bone. And then the flower is aki, yeah, day bone, is it? Aki, okay. day bone. So day is the middle part. I don't know. But I don't understand how they're separating dog and flower. That's the only place, that's the only thing I'm confused about you know it's and it's still a noun i i think because one is animate and one is inanimate well see that's what okay so now you got to know your inanimate nouns right. yeah when you're oh, putting that's the your, tricky part right yeah. so when you're putting your pronouns together you gotta know which and, and how do we know that and the animate and inanimate thing I mean, right. that's like an English classification, like in English, but it, it kind of, you have to kind of put your Kiowa thinking cap on and think about what did Kiowas like historically see as living and what did Kiowas historically see as not living. And that kind of. But in a plum or a flower living and a dog living, that's what no. it sees. No, not necessarily. Because yeah. a dog is moving around and okay. dog has a voice brain. and. Yeah, doing, like, like the following directions. Yeah, like a dog has a brain and then plants and other things do not. So that's so, how you find nouns is by the finding out if it's an inanimate or animate object. Yeah. Oh, so there when are you're some talking that are not plural, like this one stays the same. So that's that little bit confuses me. Anyway, um, 
So I, it, how well, is you in Kiowa? How is you said? Is that yuck? I said it's all. That's the part that changes all the time. Yeah, it depends on what um, if you're talk what context you're talking about it. Like if it's like that's where those sentences, whether it's possessive, mental, or basic, that's where that changes. Because it depends on like who's doing the talking, who's listening to it, and what is it involving. So there's three ways of saying you. There's a whole bunch of ways to oh, yeah. say you. There's probably more than three. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that there's a whole bunch of ways to say you. <laughs> so it's confusing. But what was it? Did you find the pattern, Courtney? Or where, what should I go on? I think so. But what I'm referencing are old kinship charts. So I'm trying to. Do you want me to stop um, sharing and you can share? Um, no, because these are printed, like printed oh. notes, um, but I should be able to tell you here in just a second. Thanks, so, um, that slide, you have it on that noun anim, uh, animate, the one you Which just one? flipped off, the one this right, right This one right here? Yeah. So look okay. at the middle of that, the eight, the day, bay, and bay. somebody in this class told me to look at the middle part of that, the day, okay. bay. And then what's the next part? Nay, uh -huh. nay. So, so that's what I look at. And that's what I remember is that okay. that middle part there for these anyway, because I don't know about what other, you know, sentence. What, what is right. the, so what this middle part right here, what are you, there, there is a, like a repetition, right? Yeah. So like you have. I need nay down here they go nay ah uh, and then you have they go they da or nay da they go nay da so that nay is the same well mine it is yours it is his it is so his hers it is so you gotta i guess the three you know how they separate the i saw you saw he shot saw uh-huh and then it goes to mine, yours, and his. So that it's in the, you know, that's, I'm just looking at the middle and then I'm trying to, you know, like with plum, because that's new for me is the a la ga. Uh -huh. And then using the flower situation for, you know, the flower um, set yeah. up thing. I mean, that's, I mean, because that's what I remember as flower. Yeah. So well, these are the same right here. So you give it to me right here that Sagun da na ah. You give me um those dogs, right? Mm -hmm. You to me give is the same as this one right here, right there. Um it's the same mm -hmm. as that one. This pronoun so is the same. No. They're both animate or are they both not? Or well, yeah, because it's all dogs. But so, I'm just talking about this little pronoun right here is the same. Oh huh. Okay. Yeah. So you give it to me is the same as what's this one? They are it is, or they is or they are yeah. they are they are dogs. Oh, are our dogs. dogs. Okay. Dogs. Uh, dogs they are is the same pronoun as dogs you give to me. And I wonder, is it the same on all of them? Let's look. Ah, oh, why does it keep doing that? Um, nay and nay. Look, it's the same right here and right here. So that's a little pattern. A little pattern. Yeah, that's one. Okay. I found it. So what okay. it is is the <clears throat> singular uh -huh. inanimate okay. pronouns are for the majority of for for how we learned it and I believe the singular inanimate are the 
same as the animate three or more. So. Okay. Okay. So um, if we can remember that rule. Singular inanimate is the so, same as plural animate, right? Ha. Huh, so Allah ga they they bon. That would be a singular inanimate. What? Okay. And then the same then okay. if you're taking talking about uh dogs more three or more dogs they 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 they, the, they, they, they bone okay they the, they bone that should be and then so that that would be the like you're using the same and then the alaga that's okay. one plum or not I bay bone. I'm looking at old uh charts, so a la ga beitaba. You saw one plum. Right. A la ga be bon. And then segun da be bon. You see them dogs. Or dogs, you see them. You saw them. So that was, uh, it's coming back to me now. <laughs> okay. um, and oh. then what helped was like, you can't really, the way that uh, the kinship chart I initially learned from is remembering the, um, memorizing the animate pronoun and then memorizing the inanimate pronoun you only have to do that on the singular and the plural forms because the all of the two forms rule, are the, the two forms are all the same okay but then you can also hear it whenever if you go through on the the um Kathy this might help you but oh. when you go through on the recordings that are on this PowerPoint if you listen to it um you'll hear the um mental the mental form and the possessive form of like Allah go na on that's you hear it in the the tones of what you're asking for give it to me uh plum give it to me so those are kind of helpful but it's always going to be that middle that middle uh word is always going to be your pronoun because the sentence structure is noun pronoun verb yeah so you are who I learned it from because I, I knew I heard it from somebody in this class. Some, you know, in, uh, what is it? NPV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just remember N and then P and then V, noun, pronoun, verb. Mm -hmm. NPV, oh. noun, pronoun, verb. That's the grammar structure. Oh. oh. When we go just pop in, a, like in conversation, speaking of grammar structure, um, I have a, I have a question on like, say, if I, if you, if I'm asking you, where are you going? You know, I'd say, hiya, aim banma. And you would, and then if I, and then if you answered, you'd say, thogu a banma. I am going to my house. But if I asked you, are you going to your house? Would I say, hiya, tho Gu, and then my pronoun, you, Bonma. <laughs> oh, that, 
Is that how you would say that, whatever that pronoun is? Hotoku in Brahma. Aim. Okay. Hato, not haya, but hatogu. Aimba. Aimbanma. You. Okay. Hatogu aimbanma. Are you going home? Okay. So sometimes I have a I have a problem on what uh, question to ask at the front. Okay. Okay. All right. So if we can learn these patterns that um, Courtney is saying, singular, if we can learn one, like the singular um, dog pronoun. So let me go to singular dog pronoun. Oh, what? Weird. Okay, singular dog pronoun is ga, whatever, the, you know, right here. So ga bone. I thought yeah. it was ga bone. It's ga bone. Okay, why is it have that? Why is it not letting me? Well, I can't go in there and change it right now. Oh, because it's in drive. I'd have to download it. Anyway, segun ga bone. Segun a bone. Segun bon. But plural inanimate should be that right there. Gya, ah, and bon. Let me let's look and see oh. the plural of it. That, that's, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, it's gya. No, see, that's not right. G A Y. G Y A is what I got. So, yeah. Well, that doesn't work. It's not right. I don't get it then. So I don't see you see that pattern doesn't work then. So how do you say dog? I saw it. To the mentors, please. Oh. Uh, can name it. Hatso and Dunk. They go and get bone. They go and get bone. They go and There's a typo in that first one. It should have a Y in that. G -Y. Yeah, I was trying to put it in there, but it won't let me without being. Okay. So is that get bone? Yeah. They go and get bone. Just put a Y in there. It's not letting me. Um, well, then, how come it doesn't, <clears throat> that little thingy doesn't work then? I don't get it. So it doesn't work. But what does work is that when you're use when you say, um, Segun, um, ain't dog, this is a dog, right? Mm -hmm. It's also the same pronoun right here as Give me this dog. Give well, me go this to dog. Shoe. Go to shoe because shoe has do de gya bone. And then so these, do, hey, ah, but these two are the same. So if you just okay, at least the is and you give it to me pronoun, we know that's the same. Okay, so now you want me to go to do de for something? Yeah. Oh. Which one? Two or uh, just the two the, the one singular. Singular. There you go. Oh, that's several. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and but that's the same as singular dog, right? No, that's the no, that's same. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. This one, singular shoe, is the same as singular dog. And then, but then plural, plural shoe, is the same as plural flower. But a shoe isn't living, so I don't understand that. <laughs> I think it's because it's a um it's because it's a it's a it's an anomaly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. So where so was the other pattern, Courtney? Okay, I 
don't know if I totally got it. Well, I just messed me up because I didn't really understand the living. So now I do. And why is that, you know, so the pronoun the, dog is the same as shoe. Mm -hmm. Cause it's weird. Cause it doesn't change with its, it, it just says Thode. It doesn't turn into like Segun Da turns into Segun when it's singular and Segun Da when it's plural. So it's kind of an anomaly because uh, it, do it doesn't have a, a plural form. So shirt, let's look at shirt. It has to do more with like it being the long form of the noun and the short form of the noun. Not, not necessarily categories. Yeah, Even there's just a handful, like, I don't know, I wouldn't say a handful, but as far as what we're studying, there's a handful that they change mm -hmm. to, they have a long form. And he has a, that listed on those first few slides of the okay. charts okay. at the bottom, I think. Um, okay. Down here. Uh, keep oh, maybe it's down. on. It's a, uh, uh, right, maybe right here. There. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. See, he has flower, okay. tree, plum. Dog okay, now I'm understanding that. Okay, Hume, so the this family is, what we need is to look at. yeah, okay. family is all the uh, it's the it, it's the same, like straight across. They just is use this, does this make sense to you, Kathy? This this part, I don't know if it'll let me. I'm looking at it, it trying like, to figure this out here. What you know, I mean, we got more more words than just these so how would you know how would you know what so what they're saying is they're the long form of flower tree plum and dogs those are and then uh long form of family those are all long forms these are the nouns that have long forms that we're using. Right. So that's when the pronoun changes is what is when it's a long form or right. Am I correct? Correct. correct? Well, no, that does sound right. But then how do you okay. know what's long or short? You know, what, what other words besides tree and flower and dogs, you know, that we aren't saying that, you know, well, I think for just passing our test part, this is what we <laughs> learned. <laughs> yeah, Not for anything I know. else. Just, I know. Just why this part right here. Why poke holes? I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the long form that we need to get. Um. So the Akin got the Adal, the Alaga, and the Tsegunda. And then long form for human, family, Thape Goat. All right, so those are the only long forms. Then, of course, so we have all these dual forms right here in this area. Then we only have, then here's all the singular forms, whether they're plural or not, right? So, ah, uh, not singular forms, like short, plural, form, short singular. forms, that's what I meant to say, short forms. Oh. So everything else is sh like these short forms, like Thode, Akingya, um, Fodolda, Saigun, Ah, for a whole bunch of, um, okay, Do. So doesn't change at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. So day, it doesn't change, does it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. The so day noun doesn't change, but the pronoun does. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I see what he was doing with this to be helpful. Okay. 
it is getting my brain back into that now. All right. So back to all of them. I mean, I think that I studied them a couple different ways. So mm -hmm. it's kind of finding your the um, best way for you to of how you study and whether it's understanding them. But what really helped a lot for me is um, hearing them from those like going through and uh, he talked about he has something on space repetition. Dane does talk, he's talked to us about that, but uh, going through and doing recording that yourself with that, with the, um, the whole pronoun uh, chart for whatever level you're stuttering, studying for. Um, and I would just listen to that sometimes playing it on the road to work or running that, that really helped to hear it. Okay. So um, is that... Is that on that, that pronoun chart? Are you talking about um, on here? Like going through and um, he, there okay. used, these are all kind of broke up now. The, the two slides, two to six. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one. And this then one I, here. I actually, yeah. So you record yourself going through each one of those and then okay. I went through and I did the um, each of the following slides. It was like it was probably a twenty-minute recording that I did, but just to pause and stop for each one. That way, I would have it. Is what it came, what I how I ended up doing it. Okay, but that really does help because you hear it and then you are hearing the. Uh, Kiowa sentences mm -hmm. instead of just the words uh, reading them or sometimes so I think it's just kind of finding what works best for you okay so you just like said you said this you played it and then you said it so did you put the noun in the front of it Initially, I did so. I would I would go through and I'd say ain't uh, na uh, ain't da, na da, gad da, ga da, a da, a da, mm -hmm. gab bon, day bon, and then just go through the whole thing, mm -hmm. and um, then. I always knew whenever I got to the duel because <laughs> those don't change. And I had those, those were pretty quick to memorize yeah. through um, yeah. to hear it. And then if you go down to the other um, slides, go down to six or eight, whatever it ones it starts on. Okay. Which one? Um, uh, keep going right down. Um, <sighs> Well, I did the original ones where it was like, uh, so he has them all. So you could just go through and do that. Like, so you have all the do de ya on. Okay. Um, but I actually did the ones that are after it, like the. Um, go down a little bit more, I think, if they're in this deck. That one? Is that, is that the last one? Um, keep going. Okay. That, the one with the starts with the sh uh, shoes. Now your fault. Okay. Down to 16. Oh, okay. Anyways, oh, okay. I just went through and did do de ya bon. Do oh, okay. Do bon. Do de de bon. And then uh -huh. went through all of them. And then so, just listen to it over and over. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I see. Okay. So you cut, so, you set it into like a, onto your phone, a little recording, and then just listen to yourself saying it all mm -hmm, these. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So if you can do a pause and start and pause mm -hmm. type one. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Uh, but I don't know, uh, Akima, if you can see how this it you know tells you about the grammar. So you know, three part obviously is indirect, you know, or a, a direct object. I mean, what is a direct object? You give it to me, right? So that's an indirect object, right? You give it to me, right? So um, that's kind of like if you were doing a, a, a diagram of that sentence, then um, that's kind of that grammar part of that. So covering this to me really does cover the grammar. Um, okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I guess we just really need to be studying this. Oh, we just need to keep going over it and maybe like even, like I, I always think about activities, like things that we could do. So like uh, talking about you know, these different things like saying something like picking one of these sentences and saying it to each other mm -hmm. and then like picking someone to say it and then seeing if they know what we're saying. Like okay. to kind of, I don't think we're there yet, <laughs> but mm -hmm. maybe after we go through the flashcards a few times, we might be, you know, but that might help us internalize it. Okay. Well, should we be going back to the maybe level one? I mean, I mean, oh, you just stick with the level two words. Okay. I mean, okay, it's still like level one kind of. You're okay. using the middle set, the middle, and I think level two is just an addition, additions of words. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, different, okay. it's different vocabulary, like the noun parts. Okay, and, and that's what kind of threw us off at first when we looked at it last week. We we're like. Right. Wait a minute. What right. is it? Yeah. <laughs> so, but okay. I think the more that we use the level two vocabulary, mm -hmm. I think it would even help for level one because, you know, it's okay. just different nouns. Okay. So, Alaga, what was it? Name. Uh, Nada? Name. Name. Uh, no, uh, Nada. Okay. All right. Allah um, God, yours. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Allah God, yours, doll. Uh, <laughs> right? That's right. Uh, <laughs> we know the rest of it, but not the main part. Oh my God. Is it Allah God? De no, it's not. Name. Name, doll. Name? Allah God. Name, doll. Name. Okay. Nay. Oh. Who is that again? Wait, nay. didn't we just yeah. do that one? Is that silent and? Nay, there's no nay? Okay. regular. What? How did that happen? Was that the same one? Seemed like it, but it wasn't. I think it was <laughs> mine. My your... brain is slow. Aindaw. Aindaw is. I don't know. E N D A U. I don't know. All of God. His, hers. They are. They are. They are. Da. <laughs> Ain't da. Plum. His, hers. They too are. So two plums are theirs. Two plums are his or hers. I feel like one way that probably would help me is just to like go through those like basically memorize the pronoun charts. Like, I think that's oh. <laughs> going to have to be okay. what, like, because for me, like my, my recall isn't there. <laughs> yeah. I'd have to like go find it and pull it like, but like oh. right now, like I'm not, I'm not there. I have to yeah. keep hearing it a million times. Yeah. It's no. not either. No. I'll... Hi. Oh yeah. You do. Um, <laughs> Uh, which is why we're doing this. So, you know. Yeah, so, what might this one be? Allah ga. Ain't da. His, hers are. They are. 
Did you say ain? Ain? E N. E N. Ain da. Alaga ain da. Let's see. Yeah, Alaga. Alaga. That says name. Name. Say Alaga. Say Alaga, not Alaga. Oh, okay. that's right. Alaga. 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 Name da. See, Name I like to hear from the da. mentor. If for kid. Allah go because it has that because we were saying this too fast and it has that elongation that colon is that elongation Allah go name doll and that's another elongation right there okay Allah go name doll what was that there his or hers is that what that was? His or hers? hers? Plum, his, hers, they are, I think. Okay. All right. Now you give them to me. Right? You give them to this me. This ain't all. Uh, I would say, I think it is. All of uh, all. Ain't all. Uh. Nay all. Uh. Would it be nay all? Uh? Uh, uh. Remember, it's the same as is. Is. You know, when you say it, 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 those two are, right? It's the same pronoun as those two plums are. Those are two plums. Uh, it's the same pronoun as those are two plums. So whatever that one is, is the same as you give me those two plums. What is that? I already forgot what that person is. Alaga. Allah go. Allah go. Allah go. Allah go. Is it nay da? Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, not nay da. Nay ah? Uh? Mm -hmm. No. I kind of how I go. Carolyn, do you know? Oh, nay. I, I, I'm, I'm looking at something that's watery. Fun for me, you give them to. Yeah. Allah ga something ah. Nay ah or nain ah. Nay ah. Ain ah. Is that it? Nay ah. Nay ah, I think. Ain. Big ah. Ain. Ain ah. Allah ga. Ain ah. Hey, uh. That's hard. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dema, if you want to see the list of all of them, if you scroll down, you know how Study Stacks has that list. So just scroll down uh -huh. on the page. And I know you can see. One. Oh, okay. This was the same as one we just did. All our gall. Ain da. Ain da. It should be. Ah. Ain da. Oh, shoot. Darn. Okay, never mind. <laughs> My but if you, if you want to see the, the ones that we did, I think if you go keep going down, like scroll this list right here, this mm -hmm. is what I was thinking. Like if we study this, this hey, would help. yeah. Like you could print <laughs> it off. Nice. <laughs> you know? Let's do this oh, one. Oh, that would be do this. That's way better. <laughs> I like this better. <laughs> Chee -chee. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to remember see flowers. You can see there. it better. It's not getting there. Okay. For the flowers, uh, uh, no, I think just if you go to level one. It, well, no, can... no, right. Well, you can compare them. So, I mean, I guess you can print oh, them. Oh, I see. Yeah, print it off and okay, that's a good idea. Uh mm huh. -hmm. That's a good idea to print off this page right here. Oh, hey, um, I hate to uh disrupt our fun, but we're a little bit over time. Okay. <laughs> uh, people might have to go to bed. Okay. Oh. I think uh, Miss Marion's probably like already oh. asleep oh, yeah. by now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> send that to you, and you could send it out to everybody. Oh, well, that was oh. a good sign. Getting it out, you know. Oh.
Oh, toy. We were just saying it's uh, it's it's late. <laughs> we're over time. We didn't realize it. <laughs> we're too busy That's studying. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay. What is, what is it? Uh, Grandma Dorothy always says, "Bay, bay, day." Great. 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 Um, or bake. My great grandma would say, Beko dame. Oh, let's go to bed. <laughs> oh, I was saying uh, about studying because okay. Miss Mary. Oh, yeah. Just keep trying. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Great. Go to sleep. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. Go to sleep. Great. Great. Okay, well, yeah. I'm going to go over it again. And that's coming up really fast, isn't it? Yeah, like next, uh, next we we only have one more session. Oh my gosh! Well, <laughs> I don't know if I could do it, guys. I might have to. <laughs> but you know what we could do is um, we could do, we could go over this on Monday again from from um eight to nine. Oh, that'd be awesome. No, I mean, out an invitation. Yeah, it's on uh, District 7's Facebook page, and um, and then I do send it out to whomever has given me their email. Do you get my email? I'm not sure. I, I'm on I'm it. Once I don't a month know. on Mondays? Okay. All right, so who do I need to add? Okay, so I need to add. Melody, you don't get mine? You should have. You should. Honey. Okay. And Kathy? You need a shower, say. My email okay. in there for you. You should have it. I mean, you oh. should should be getting him. Well, I, I that, went back to an I, old one. On the, the so, uh, we call it the um, District 7. Uh, hey, Dave, it's time to go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Hey. All right. <laughs> Um. Okay. Mine All right. Yeah. Up. Why don't we do that? We could oh, do that on Monday. That'd be awesome. So. And and at least if we when we do the credentialing piece, mm -hmm. I mean at least we're practicing, right? Like we'll get to have a feel for what the experience is like, and then, um, you know, test it out. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay. So let's do that on Monday, and um. I'll have one song ready if anybody else joins in that doesn't want to do this. Uh, but but I like that sheet that that you showed that, uh, and we'll just go over that sheet instead of the flip cards until we start getting it in our head. Oh, yeah. I'm going to print that off so I can start studying. I wrote I it down it so you. I can remember that way. Instead of printing it. I actually wrote everything down. Oh, that's a good point. You have to. I mean, it just, it, that's for to me. Internalize it. Yeah. PPR. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, right. we better let y'all go to bed. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that was really helpful. Um, you know, we're, we're chipping away. We're getting there slowly, but surely. Um, Pihok Gyama, Grandma, would you be able to say a bedtime prayer for us? Bay dot say. Hello, Paman Da. Hey, all day. Get all things on here. Get Tom Da, you know. Da don't get. Get high day Da. Go back. Get high day Da. They all they can't get at at the ghetto at at on the get hide it all. God don't give you hide it all. They get out yeah. But Tom though they don't be. How about how about they on the they yen hide it all. Tom, though, I go. Ginga is all the I get. 
All right. Well, everyone, stay warm, stay safe, feel better. And, uh, hega, hega ba oi, don't ta. And don't forget Monday, eight o'clock on Zoom. And you can look at District Seven's uh, link. Oh, hega, I'm oi, bong ta. Oh, hega ba oi, bong ta.